Running a Bitcoin node allows you to gain access to privacy, security, and certainty on the Bitcoin network. And it's not really that hard. Hi, I'm Darren, and we're going to cover the benefits of why you should run a Bitcoin node, all the options you have from easy setup to advanced setup to all-in-one solution, software that comes along with it, and the benefits that that software brings when you run your own Bitcoin node. So the first question you should be asking is, what is a Bitcoin node? So when you run a Bitcoin node, you actually are running a constant updated version of the Bitcoin blockchain yourself. Your version of the blockchain is talking to other versions of the blockchain in the network, and these are called nodes. All these nodes share transaction history, amounts per address, with all other new nodes that join the network. This is essentially the only way you can verify your own Bitcoin holdings with absolute certainty. So if that didn't get you fired up to run your own Bitcoin node, there's six reasons you should run a Bitcoin node. First one is privacy. So if you've downloaded a random wallet online or are using a random wallet, they have to connect to a specific node to talk to the blockchain. That node that they've connected to, you probably don't know who owns it, where it is in the world, what's it doing behind the scenes. Nodes can actually see who is clicking through their data. And if somebody on the other side who has this node running, see that it's connected to the wallet, they can see all the transactions you're clicking on and might be able to see your IP address at the same time and can possibly link you, your IP address, to all the transactions that you're making in the wallet because you're running their node. So when you run your own node, you can verify the transactions yourself completely privately. Number two kind of goes along with that and it's the certainty of the blockchain. So if, you're, if you've set up your Bitcoin node right, you've downloaded the correct software in Bitcoin Core, you are running the longest proof of work chain, you know that this is Bitcoin. If you use a wallet that you haven't connected to your own node, it's connected to somebody else's node and that node is paying transactions back to your wallet to show you your amounts, um, what all your transactions are, so you cannot say with 100% certainty that those transactions are yours or valid. Third reason is you get to choose the rules. So when you run your own node, you choose what software you're gonna download. Right now it's Bitcoin Core. And the way rules are changed on the Bitcoin blockchain is each node has to accept those rules moving forward for the changes on the Bitcoin blockchain to move forward. So you as a node kind of have a vote on the rules and what you wanna see. This also goes into the fourth reason, the strength of the network. The more nodes running Bitcoin Core, the stronger the system gets and the more unlikely it would be for a consensus attack. One way to disrupt Bitcoin would be a 51% of attack. You would have to get 51% of all these nodes running this specific rule to change all at once. The more and more people have nodes, the harder and harder it would be to reach them. So the more and more people who run nodes, the stronger the system gets as it's more diverse across the globe. Fifth reason is you can help others so other people can connect to your node. So that kind of gives a little bit more security. So if you have a friend running a wallet, they can connect to your node. This is like if you had an investment, you couldn't see how much you had, so you would ask the bank. That's kind of like what you would have now if you had a wallet that isn't connected to a node um, versus like asking a family member how much you have invested, who would you trust more. And the six reasons for other use cases, like you can connect your node to the Lightning Network, which is layer two, for extremely fast, cheap, and pr more private transactions. The nodes we're gonna talk about today, you can run other software on them, such as payment servers, chat servers, streaming servers, um, cloud servers, all with your Bitcoin node. So there's three basic ways to run a node today. Um, the first would just be download Bitcoin Core itself, from bitcoin.org. Now Bitcoin is the open source avail software available for everyone to tap into across the world. It's available for download on your computer, Mac, Linux. However, it's pretty robust and you're gonna need a lot of space on your computer to use it. And also you need it running at least six hours per day. It's totally free, which is the advantage. The disadvantage is you're going to have to set all of it up yourself connect it to your network. And if you only have a computer, you don't want to keep it on all day. If it's battery powered, you're not going to be able to run it and you're going to have to, every time you turn on, it's going to reconnect to the network, download all those transactions and slow your daily computer down um, unless you have a dedicated device for that. That's why number two, there's node in the box solutions. So these are dedicated devices um, that come pre-installed with 
the Bitcoin Core and the software for an easy plug and play solution. First one is called Dojo, and this is made by Samurai. It's one of the most privacy focused wallets out there. They have ones from $549 to, I believe, $800 US. What this allows you to do is, so you can connect your Samurai wallet to your own Dojo, seamlessly uh, run your data through Tor browser so that all of your data is secure, and it's a small device that runs 24-7 with little power. Second is called MyNode. It's the same idea, but comes with a lot more features as there's a software built into the node in the box you receive in the mail. This is about $330 US. Now, the software that it comes with not only allows you to connect to Bitcoin Core, it allows you to connect different apps, such as Lightning Network. You can also get BTC Pay, other chat apps, um, right on this easy to use interface. The third way is a DIY. So this is you purchase the hardware and you download a software that allows you to interact with Bitcoin Core a little bit easier than if you did it yourself. So the one I use is called Umbral. There's a lot of other solutions out there. And Umbral has great UI, very easy to use and walks you through the entire setup process, even gives you a list of exactly what you need to run Umbral 24 seven. So here's what they recommend and here's my setup beside it. Now they recommend running this on a Raspberry Pi 4 and that's what I did. Everything here works fine. The only thing I would change if I was you, I would get a case that allows heat distribution. I noticed when I update the Umbro or when it was 47 degrees outside that it overheated and stopped working. And that was the only time I ever had an issue. So this total setup cost me $488 Canadian. So after you purchase all your thing, you're gonna download the Umbro operating system. Then you're gonna download a program that allows you to put it on a memory card and into your micro, into the micro SD slot of the Raspberry Pi. Once that's done, you connect the SSD to the Raspberry Pi, then you connect it to your router, and this is why you need your ethernet cable. Then you power it up, and that's it. You head over to umbral.local um, on any device that's connected to the same Wi-Fi network. You can also get into Umbral from anywhere in the world. They give you a .onion address that you can access remotely. First, log in. This is your home screen here. Here in Umbral, now they have a dedicated wallet within Umbral you can use. I haven't used this myself. I use other hardware wallets offline, then connect them later. You have Bitcoin Core fully synchronized here. Um, here's your storage. Gives you a bit of an update of the network, how many peers you've been connected to. Then the Lightning Network, this gives you your Lightning Network information. This is where you can connect all of your wallets. And if you click on a wallet, it will give you the instructions on how to calibrate or connect your wallet um, very easily. Now this is the cool part of Umbral. They have different apps. So these are the ones I've installed. You can connect your Lightning wallets. This is a Bitcoin Explorer where you can see all of those transactions. When you need to look up a transaction, you use your own node for privacy reasons. Bitcoin Pay servers. This allows you to create a fully hosted payment solution with invoicing, point of sale, connect it to e-commerce. Then there is the mempool, which is all of the transactions, upcoming transactions, fee market, and your other lightning tools, as well as you can connect a Samurai wallet, Sphinx chat, which is a online chat that's actually run on the lightning network. If you want more apps, they have a little app store from a whole cloud service, photo cloud service, messaging, social media apps like Matrix. This is just a great tool that allows you to become even more self-sovereign and hosting a lot of apps on a 24-7 device that also supports all of your Bitcoin transactions. So that was a brief overview. I'm not a big tech guy. If I could figure it out, you can figure it out. I hope this helps you, motivates you to run your own Bitcoin node for your privacy your security, your certainty of the Bitcoin network, and ultimately the security of the Bitcoin network itself. And thanks for watching.